Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is the Texture back for another episode of the Textbook Tutorials. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to put music from your Windows computer onto your Android phone. Again, this method is not going to be using iTunes. I will be showing an iTunes method in the next video I make, but this one for the moment, it does not show you how to put music onto your phone from iTunes. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a USB cable that plugs into your phone and plugs into the computer, obviously. Um, but before you plug into your phone, uh, into your computer, you're going to want to download your phone specific drivers. So what these drivers do is uh, make sure your Windows uh, computer is able to communicate or recognize your USB phone. I already have my uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch drivers installed. I'm going to go ahead and put the link for that specific phone model in the uh, description right now. But as you can see, this is a Samsung site. If you need to know where to download your your particular phone drivers just do a quick Google search uh, for example uh, I had the Samsung Galaxy Epic 4G Touch I would type in Epic 4G Touch USB drivers and it'll lead you to the Samsung site in Google and you just click on it and download it there okay well once you have your drivers downloaded and installed you can go ahead and plug your phone into your computer and let's go ahead and do that right now And your phone should automatically be recognized by the computer. Um, if you're wanting, if you're running Windows 7, uh, the computer actually, I'm sorry, the operating system might even install the drivers automatically for you. Uh, but that just varies from computer to computer, especially depending on who set up your operating system. They may have disallowed that privilege specifically. But anyways, let's go. I have my phone plugged in, and what you want to do is go over to your phone and you're gonna notice on the top bar of your phone you're gonna drag it down and you're gonna see it's connected as a media device and it says touch for other USB options what you're gonna to wanna to do is touch that and now this is very very important because a lot of the older videos don't specify this and I need to make sure to specify it if you're running Android 4.0 which is ice cream sandwich or higher you're only gonna have two options showing which is uh, connect as media device and in parentheses it says MTP that's the first option or the second option is camera uh, parentheses PTP which allows you to transfer photos uh, using the camera software what you want to do is leave it uh, as its default right now it's connected as a media as a media device so you want to leave it connected as a media device just make sure that checkbox is checked okay so once you have that checked what you can do is oh and I'm sorry I forgot to mention if you're running anything less than uh, and Android 4.0 uh, ice cream sandwich if you're running gingerbread uh, which seems to be the most popular uh, most released version of Android that the phones have right now if you scroll down on that bar on that top section phone bar right there you're gonna see a little bit more options you're gonna see an option that says charge only uh, USB mass storage and a couple more options I don't remember off the top of my head because I don't have gingerbread anymore but you want to go ahead and select USB mass storage for this uh, for this particular tutorial so you just click that and set it to USB mass storage and as you can see right here as soon as I plugged in my device into my computer it popped up with installing drivers and once I clicked on that dialog box down there it uh, popped up with this and it'll show you step by step your computer which is Windows 7 my operating system is Windows 7 it's uh, downloading the drivers for you so in this case for those of you running Windows 7 you may not even have to download those drivers like I said earlier so as you can see all of my devices it all installed the, uh, the device drivers for me got it all set up so what you want to go ahead and do is go over to my computer or I'm sorry the start button and go over to computer and in this box right here in, in computer you're going to see all the storage devices available to your computer you have your local C drive your hard drive and then uh, we're not going to worry about the rest right now you have your CD drive over here as well but you, we're going to go down to here it says portable devices SPH-D710 that's my phone model that's the epic 4G touch 
and you're gonna want to double click that and you see it appear here simply as phone if you have yours name differently it might appear something else here as phone but the easiest way to do this oh excuse me uh, to transfer music over to your phone is go over to your music folder I already have mine open for convenience I have it labeled mp32 as my music folder and um, let's go ahead and grab a cage the elephant song here oh. and uh, cage the elephant and we're gonna go ahead and just download uh, back against the wall good song you're gonna want to uh, or you can just normally what you want to do is if you want to keep the file both on your computer and on your phone you're going to want to uh, hit control C which is in this case is the command for copying a file of any kind or you could just right click the file that you want to transfer over and you're going to want to hit copy you could do it that way too anyways you can go over to your phone and you can put it in the music you open up the music folder and you hit paste and as you can see I got my uh, my back against the wall cage the elephant as soon as I put that in my phone the I can open up any music player uh, be it downloaded or the stock music player in my phone and it'll automatically find that uh, the songs that I have here uh, to clarify you don't have to put it in the music folder your phone will automatically find all media files on your phone and play them as a music uh, in your music player as you can see I have one song down here called the best day uh, however I like to have my stuff organized into one folder so I put like to put all of my stuff into the music folder so let's go ahead and transfer that over but again for those of you who don't really care you could easily just transfer uh, the songs over into this general phone you don't even have to double click this if you want to but like I said I'm an organized person when it comes to my music files so I like to keep all my music files in the same place so that actually wraps up the tutorial for this time, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, if you had any trouble with this video at all, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is the Techspert, and I'll catch you guys on the next uh, video review.